Hey, what's going on everybody? Today I wanted to show you how you can uh, send values from LabVIEW to your PIC18 Explorer board using RS-232 communications. So I have this LabVIEW program and in this text box I can type any character and then what I'm gonna do is send it to my board and display that value using the LEDs on my board. So the way this works is whenever you send a character to the board, the PIC microcontroller receives that value as an ASCII character. So let's look at the ASCII table. Let's say for example that I wanted to uh, turn on the four rightmost lights on my board. Then I could use and I could send any character that has an F for the second value in the hexadecimal column. So if I type O for example, those four lights are going to be turned uh, on. So let's go ahead and type capital O. So I'm going to open my LabVIEW program. Press enter. And you can see that on the board those uh, four LEDs are on and you can also see that other LED that other LED represents the uh, number four in the uh, first number for my hexadecimal value for the letter O let's just uh, let's try another value let's try uh, let me see let's try U So I type U, press enter, and you can see the corresponding values turn on. So now that you know what the program does, let's go ahead and see how it works. So I'm going to stop my LabVIEW application. Let's start off with the LabVIEW application. It's pretty simple VI. So all I have here is a Visa serial configuration block, a Visa write block, and a Visa close block. and from the configuration I can select my port name so when you connect your uh, PIC18 Explorer board with the USB cable to your laptop or computer it will tell you which port you're using mine was 4 so that's why I'm selecting 4 here for my communication rate I selected uh, 9600 and you will see that in your uh, peak board we will also specify this value as well as the uh, data bits so how many bits are we sending and the uh, parity and then now we also have our right error blocks and our close error blocks just to let us know if there were any errors while uh, you know just reading or closing the connection I mean writing or closing the connection and I'm gonna be posting this VI and all the code to my website if you're watching this on YouTube you can go to my website by going to the link in the description below the video so now that we know how the LabVIEW application works let's take a look at the C code that was, that was used to program the microcontroller so we just include our uh, pick header file the serial library and we have a bunch of configuration bits that I generated with uh, MPLAB but the only important one is the uh, oscillator we're using the high speed oscillator so that will be the external oscillator connected to the board which is 10 megahertz so keep that in mind we have 10 uh, million hertz because we're going to need that value when we set our serial port communication settings so that's the uh, that value is uh, an important value or configuration bit the other one is the watchdog timer we're going to turn it off otherwise the uh, program will reset and you might not even be able to see the LEDs changing so let's scroll down to the real important part of the code 
so initially I just turn on my LEDs just to know that the program uploaded correctly and then this is where we use the open user function so we're not gonna want any transmitting interrupts or receiving interrupts so we're gonna turn those off we're gonna be using the asynchronous mode transmitting 8 bits remember that was also set up in the lab view application so this value has to match the one in lab view we're gonna be continuously reading and we're using a high baud rate which is 9600 other options is a low baud rate this number 65 is what specifies the baud rate and you can get it from the uh, MC18 compiler libraries so I got this formula from there and uh, actually the general formula is that your baud rate is equal to your clock divided by 16 times 1 and I forgot a plus here so solving for x like I said I, I wanted this baud rate that was the number that I chose that's the external clock connected to the microcontroller if you look uh, you can find it next to your big microcontroller in your PIC18 explorer board and then these values were given in the formula as well as the plus one so I use actually use Wolfram Alpha just uh, to solve for X and I got 65 point something so we just want a, an integer so that will be 65 next inside our infinite while loop we check to see if there's any data ready to be read if there is then what I do is I turn off all the lights and then I simply get the character sent from LabVIEW and then I put it in my port and that uh, changes the lights and lastly I close my connection so that is all the code you need once again I will post this on my website and thank you for watching